Hello all, we will be talking about today the ISMS framework clause 4, the context of the organization of ISO 27001-2013 standard. So let's get started. Organizational context in terms of ISMS requirements. So what is organizational context? The organizational context can be described in terms of organizational background that to which background does the organization belong to? The context of the operations that is in which areas does the firm perform its operations or in which technologies does the firm operates purpose the purpose of the organization to build the ISMS now ISO 27001 2013 has classified the organizational context into four sub clauses the first sub clause being understanding the organization and its context the second sub clause the needs and the expectations of interested parties the third subclause determining the scope of ISMS. The fourth subclause that is the information security management system itself. The first subclause understanding the organization in its context. Now, the organization should determine the internal and external issues first of all to determine the context. Internal issues can be described in terms of organizational structure, the policies, the processes, the internal practices that the company follows people that the resources of the company, the products the company sells, the objectives of the company and the capabilities of the company. Now internal and external issues can be identified by SWOT analysis, strength and weaknesses for internal issues, opportunities and threats for the external issues. External issues can also be described in terms of market competitors, trends in the current market, clients, relationships with suppliers, vendors or clients, differentiator of your products, environmental aspects, legal and regulatory commitments, external stakeholders. Now, external issues can also be determined by PESLE analysis. PESLE is abbreviated as political, economic, social, technological, legal and environmental. This subclause also refers to the clause 5.3 of ISO 31000-2009 standard for internal and external context of the organization. Now clause 5.3 of ISO 31000-2009 standard focuses on unique risk management context. It has these subsections, risk management parameters, organizations in external context, organizations internal context, context of your risk management process and organizations risk criteria. The second subclause needs and expectations of interested parties. The organization shall determine two things interested parties and requirements of these interested parties. Now, who are those interested parties? Interested parties are the stakeholders that influence ISMS operations, or they in turn are the ones who are affected by the ISMS activities. The interested parties can be any one of the following clients, government agencies or regulators, employees, suppliers or vendors, partners, shareholders or owners. Requirements of these interested parties they include legal and re regulatory requirements and obligations as mentioned in the contract. As your company signs a contract with any of the interested parties, your company is obliged to follow the terms mentioned in the contract. Examples of requirements by some of the entities mentioned ahead are shareholders. Now, what do shareholders expect? Shareholder ex shareholder expect that their investment to be secure and they want a good return on their investment. Clients, what do clients expect? Clients expect your company to comply with the security clauses in the contract your company signs with them. What do government agencies expect? Government agencies expect your company to comply with the information security regulations. The third subclause, determining the scope of ISMS. The organization shall determine the boundaries and the application of areas of information security to establish its scope. So the ISMS can be applied to which areas should be determined by the organization. Scope is determined keeping in mind the following factors internal and external issues requirements of the interested parties interfaces and dependencies between activities performed by the organization and those that are performed by other organizations now what is boundary boundary is a term that considers the organization processes in relevance to information security
an organization should identify the functions that are provided by itself and also the functions that are provided by external parties such as clients, suppliers, vendors, which affect the confidentiality, integrity and availability of the information within the scope of ISMS. Let's consider an example over here. Let's say a social networking company like Facebook, it relies on the internet service provider for its availability of the website. Now, if a failure occurs in providing internet by the internet service provider to Facebook, then the availability of the information on Facebook's website is compromised. Hence, the internet service should also be considered while determining the scope of ISMS by Facebook. ISO states that the scope of ISMS should be available as a documented information. So the scope should be documented. The last subclause, information security management system. Here we follow the PDCA cycle, plan, do, check and act. In planning phase, we establish the ISMS. In the do phase, we implement and operate the ISMS that, that was established. In the check phase, we maintain the ISMS, that is, we monitor and review ISMS for improvements. And once in act phase, once the improvements are finalized, we continually improve the ISMS to make it better. That's all for the management clause for context of the organization of ISO 27001-2013 standard. Thank you.